Get on in here. Let's play some music. This is a good one. That's our Swish and Swipe song. <laughs> Isn't that appropriate? We all need to do a little swishing and swiping. Did you know you can swish and swipe in every room in your home? Yep. Let's think about the let's let's think about the bathroom first. You take a purple rag and you wipe down your mirror. You put away your makeup and stuff as you used it. You put it back underneath the sink and. <clears throat> You wipe down your countertop, wipe out your sink. You take a, a, a dirty washcloth and wipe down the seat of the toilet. You swish around the toilet with your toilet bowl brush. And bam, your, your bathroom is clean. Now, how, what's a swish and swipe in your bedroom? Clean off your nightstand. Make your bed. Pick up your dirty clothes. It's that simple. In the living room, what's a swish and swipe in the living room? Clean off your coffee table. Clean off your end tables. Run the carpet sweeper right quick over the, the rug. Bam! Your living room looks good. What swish and swipe in the kitchen? Empty the dishwasher. Put dirty dishes in the dishwasher. Wipe out your sink. Wipe down your countertops. Bam! Your, your kitchen is clean. So folks, we got a swish and swipe in every room in our house. And Amy just told us how to do it. We swish and swipe and we have fun. This is from our, our uh, Fly CD. And, you know, we can have a good time. We don't have to be stuck in a rut thinking, all I can do is clean house. Oh, poor pitiful me. Get a grip, folks. Let's have some fun and let's do some things with our children and enjoy, enjoy this whole process. Let's put our shoes on, let's lace up those shoes and let's do what we need to do. And keeping our little neck of the woods clean and sanitized. And I wanna thank all of you 
who are continuing to purchase things from us. You're keeping us in business. And when you keep us in business, uh, we, we get to pay the people that are helping us every day, every day. Patty answers your emails. Rebecca's putting things on the website. Justin and Jack and Rebecca are packing your orders and they're staying separate. separate. I'll get Justin to sit, post a picture of how separation works at the office. So usually there's only two people in the packing room at a time. Justin's usually in, in the main office and he goes back in when everybody else is through. So we're packing orders. We're getting things out to you as fast as we can because I know you want to um, clean and sanitize your home and you you think you need tools and that's wonderful for, for our little business. But guess what, folks? You've all got things in your home you can use. All you got to do is pick it up and put it in your hand and go around the house and use it. That's all you got to do. All you got to do. So grab a purple rag, grab your feather duster, grab a broom, grab a mop, and let's do something. Don't sit there feeling sorry for yourself and whining that the kids can't go out and play. Well, it's raining here. Some places it's snowing. So folks, let's take care of business. Now, I'm not real happy with what's going on in Washington, D.C. Uh, it, it, it really makes me angry. So I've turned the TV off. Turned it off. If those people can't get their act together and do something to help those of us who are working every day, then we need to reelect new people. I'm going to say it flat out. Jack has been uh, decorating for Christmas. He heard it was a great thing. They've been playing Christmas carols in the packing room. We're looking for ways to have fun. Here comes my car. Robert made me a cup of coffee. Wave at the ladies, honey. Hey, ladies. <laughs> He's keeping his social distancing. I'm trying to talk him into doing a show with me this afternoon. Yeah, this could be a lot of fun. It really could be a lot of fun. So I'm going to see if he'll do a show. So let's drink up. I'm drinking hot coffee. He, bring my, he brought me a second cup of coffee. <laughs> Leanne likes the idea of Christmas right now. Jack's been decorating the front yard one little blow up at a time. Uh, he said he didn't have enough extension cords because Kathy hid all the extension cords. And I told him to come to my house so he can go in the garage and he never has to see me. <coughs> anyway, I have seen some funny things on Facebook and Twitter in the last couple of days. And the funniest one, the funniest one is a woman who put her husband's boxer shorts on her head and turned it into a face mask. And I, I just died laughing. You know, we have to laugh. Guess what? You can turn a purple rag or a silver rag into a mask if you had to, especially for your little kids. We can be bandits. We can be bandits. So we just have to have fun. If we're going to be stuck at home, let's not get stir crazy. Let's do something productive. Let's, you know, clean out a cubby hole. Let's not sit and, and be upset about things that are happening around us. Stay home. Don't get, I mean, yeah, you can get outside, but in your own yard. Don't, don't walk down the street. I'd say just stay home. Stay home. If you're in a big city, stay in. Somebody's putting up a tree for Easter. You know, I got, I, you know, I was talking to some friends of mine and we've been doing videos for our fans. We have perfected how we do videos for, for years now. 
I mean, I always wanted to do a video. I tried to figure out a way to do it. Uh, it didn't much work well with Blog Talk Radio. And then Facebook came up with Facebook Live. And we've been doing Facebook Lives now for a lot of years. A lot of years. And, and now we have pastors who are stumbling into this medium. And they've never, they've never really done it before. And I'm here to tell everybody how to do it. If you want to do a Facebook Live video, you don't even need a microphone like I've got. You don't. You can use the ones like Leanne uses that came with her phone. You need to turn your phone sideways, just in, in landscape mode. And there's a little, uh, uh, at the bottom of your Facebook Live picture, there is a little uh, wrench and screwdriver that's crossed like that. Hit that little button. My sister Dina taught me this. Hit that little button and you can make the picture and anything you have on your t-shirt or the flag behind you be the right direction by following and, and switching things around. I always put something that, you know, I have to read like my body clutter, our body clutter book back there. But... And then you turn it on and you start talking to your friends and family. Teachers could do this with little groups they set up for their, their classes. We could, we could all be on Facebook helping each other, helping, having a virtual family reunion. I mean, Scott, Ad if I had a second phone, uh, Scott Adams this morning did an interview with somebody who was on his phone. And he was talking to him on speakerphone. And he didn't have a picture of him up. But, you know, if you FaceTime with somebody, you could have a picture of him up. So there's lots of fun ways. And then when you get through doing it, everybody, if you want to do a Facebook video and then you want to upload it to YouTube, when you finish the video on your phone, to on the left side of the screen, there's a button that says Save to Your Phone. Hit that button and save it to your phone. And when you save it to your phone, it'll tell you that it's saved. Then you can share the video on YouTube. I mean, on, on Facebook with everybody. Hit the share button. And then from the video that's been saved to your phone, you can upload that to YouTube with great quality. I mean, really great quality. You don't have to... You don't have to download it from Facebook because they pretty much stopped that. And now, it, when you save it to your phone, it's amazing. I save it in HD and bam, I have this beautiful video I can upload to YouTube. As many people are seeing it on YouTube as they are on, on Facebook. So it's easy to do videos. Now, I have a microphone. I've had this thing for years. I've tried expensive mics. This is a, uh, I don't know the name of this mic, but they changed the way they do them. The new ones don't work as well. Well, my iPad is an older iPad, and it's not, I don't have as good a picture on it. Now, that's what Scott Adams does. He uses his iPad, and he has his phone. <coughs> So everybody, we just have to make do with what we've got where we are. And it's all good. It's all good. I mean, there's some bad news out there, but when we turn the TV off, we don't have to hear it. Now, I like to look at graphs of things. And yesterday was the first day that I have seen as a world that the number of infections of the coronavirus was level. It was flat. They were practically the same amount yesterday as they were the day before because we stay a day behind on all our stats anyway and probably pretty much a week behind. So tonight at 7 o'clock, I don't know if that's Central Time or Eastern Time, but Check Facebook out. Garth Brooks is going to be doing a concert. How fun is that? And 
uh, my sister Dina sent me a, a video of of uh, Neil Diamond singing Sweet Caroline, but it was had different words to it, and it was so funny. Well, some people are saying they can't find creamer for their coffee. If you've got powdered milk, you got creamer. If you've got powdered milk in your house, you have creamer for your coffee. So check on your friends. Check, you know, I, my, my neighbor's set, sick next door. Laura's sick. And she had to go to the ER the other day. And I can't go check on her. Her health is is not good her husband is there if he needs anything he'll he'll holler at us the the main thing is just let people know you're there my son called me this morning and said mom i can go to the grocery store for y'all well robert's determined he's going to go to the grocery store tomorrow let me take a drink so I told you we were going to play a game, and here's the game. I got off my soapbox a little bit. Here's the game. I want you to stand in the middle of your living room. Just go stand. Take your phone with you. Put me on speaker. Go stand in the middle of your living room, and I want you to look toward your front door. Look toward your front door. And do you see anything that doesn't belong there? So what we're going to play is a reverse scavenger hunt. Now, I'm not going to know where you're going to take this one thing, but here's what we're going to do. I'm going to set the timer for two minutes, y'all. I'm going to set the... I might play a song. I might play a song, too. And the, here's the goal is to go pick up that one thing that doesn't belong where you're looking. And I'm look, having you look toward your front door. And I want you to pick that thing up and take it where it belongs. And then I want you to take a deep breath. And I want you to look, once you put that away, look around that area and see if there's something that needs to be put someplace else. And we're going to do this five times. So... Pick up one thing, take it to another room. Then that room, pick up something and take it to where it belongs. And you can get your kids to do it with you. And they can just focus on their things. Picking something up, excuse me, taking it to their bedroom. Ready? I'm going to play a song. Let, let me turn my music. I've turned everything off. We're going to call this the two minute and we'll let the... The song be the timer. Oh, no, 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 no. Let me go back. I hit something wrong. Where's my two-minute cleanup song? Where is it? My arms aren't long enough today. There it is. Okay, so we're going to play a reverse scavenger hunt. Ready, set. Here comes a two-minute song. We're picking up and putting away. Hey, everybody, it's time to clean up. Clean up, everybody clean up. Choose a toy to pick up. Yeah. 
we can do it, mm -hmm. the feet almost stop. Mm -hmm. Well, I think we did just play. Isn't that fun? Everybody's picking up and putting away. What a great way to get things cleaned up and spruced up around your house. Now, let's do our day 23. Day 23. Oh, and this isn't money. This was a birthday present. This is fake money. Um, add an afternoon routine. Start dinner. Help with homework. We're helping with homework because our kids are home. And empty your lunchbox. Well, you don't have a lunchbox to empty, but you got dishes to clean up. So let's start your afternoon routine. Now let's see what the quote is of the day. Our routines free us to fly. So start thinking about what's for dinner right now. What are you going to put, put in your slow cooker to get things going? What book is that? This is my chaos to clean. You can order it off our website or order it off Amazon, but this is our chaos to clean. You probably get it faster from us. Amazon is taking five days to deliver things, which is not a bad thing. Anyway, so that's a fun game you can play with your children all day long today. At the top of every hour, you can do this. Lots more dishes, but guess what? We can run our dishwasher. I must be going to have company. My nose is itching. I love you all. Hopefully, I'll talk Robert into doing a show with us this afternoon. He's kind of picky about that sort of thing, but he's got lots to talk about. He's, he's a deep thinker, and he's funny. He's funny, so we'll see if we can talk him into doing a show with us. But it, it'll be a good one. Uh, maybe I'll just let him do a show by himself. <laughs> he won't do that. No. I haven't heard how things are in Russia. Somebody's asking. We got a lot of Russian fly babies out there. We have a lot of Russian fly babies. They love us in Russia. So keep our Russian fly babies, all of our fly babies around the world. We're going to be, we're going to get through this. We're going to get through this. And thank you so much for continuing to purchase things from us. Y'all, y'all are keeping us in business. We'll get there. <laughs> I'll tell, I'll tell Robert all y'all want him to come on. Thank you all. And I'll see you at three o'clock. Have fun. That's the main thing. We just have to make the best of it. Make the best of it. See you later.